This video is on sector area. When we talk about sectors, we're talking about how to find the area of this region of a circle. It kind of looks like a piece of pizza, right? It's the region bound by the two radii in an arc. And to find the area of that, you're basically going to set up a proportion where x is the area divided by the total area of a circle pi r squared. Set that equal to the measure of the arc. When we say arc measure, we mean this thing in degrees. And remember, it's also the same as the arc is also the same as the angle. It's kind of tough to see. It's also the same as the angle. So this angle is the same as this arc. So that number will go right here and divide that by 360 degrees. So it's basically the portion of the circle divided by the whole circle, circle is equal to a portion of the circle divided by the whole circle. Let's try a few. Number one, find the area of this bold sector. So we're looking for this area right in here. So to find that, we want to set up our proportion. X is what we're looking for, that's the area of the sector. Pi r squared is equal to the angle or the arc divided by 360. So x over 13 squared times pi, notice I wrote the number first, that's pretty traditional, is equal to 120 degrees over 360 degrees. And 13 squared is 169 pi is equal to, you can simplify this fraction if you want to, but for our sake I'm not going to do that. And now we can just cross multiply or if you if you want to look for a little shortcut, if your x is on top and something is on bottom, just move that to the up the uh, numerator of the other side. Just going to multiply both sides by that. We get x is equal to 120 times 169 pi over 360. And now it's totally fine to go to your calculator. Uh, this one, as I said, you can simplify the 120 and the 360 to be one third. Uh, but since that doesn't always work, I'm not going to do that now. Uh, but what I will do is just type into my calculator. I'm going to go 120 times 169. I hit my pi button. I'm going to divide that by 360. And my numerator is a bunch of stuff, so I think I might need to put parentheses in there. I'll do that. Some calculators are different in terms of syntax. It's never a bad thing to put parentheses. And let's see, 120 times 169 pi over 360. All right, there's my answer. 176.976. 176.976. This is area, so we're in units squared. Number two, find the area of the bold sector. The bold sector is, is this whole thing. It's about seven eighths of a whole circle. So we're trying to find the area of this big sector. And in this case, the angle that they're giving you is 45, and that stands for not the angle of this gray sector, but rather the angle that's not in the gray sector. So the first thing I'm going to do is find this angle. And to do that, we know the whole circle is 360, so take away 45 and we get 315 degrees. So here we go, we've got a uh, proportion we want to set up, so we set a fraction equal to a fraction. X is our sector area, pi r squared, our radius is 12, is equal to 315 over 360. 12 squared is 144, 
again you can simplify these if you want to but I'm not going to and then just take this and multiply it by the numerator so here we go we've got 315 times 144 pi over 360 answer 395.841 and again that's a area it's an area so we want to square it number three in example three we're trying to find the area of this irrigation area this little farmland that's irrigated radially or circularly if that's a word and to do that we're just gonna have to use this scale down here in real life every uh, 1.75 centimeters on the map in real life is 2,000 feet so we'll use that scale to find our radius so here we go we're trying to find the actual distance of this radius so we're gonna use our scale the scale says for every 1.75 centimeters on the map it's 2,000 feet in real life so we're trying to find how long that is in real life so I put one centimeter on top and X on the bottom and I just cross multiply and divide by 1.75 so X is going to be let's see 2,000 times 1 divided by 1.75 And my actual radius in real life is 1142.857. And that is in feet. So that was how long this actual radius was in real life. So the farmer wants to know how much space he has here, how much farmland he has, how much water he needs to cover a certain area, or how much pesticide or fertilizer, things like that. So he's got his radius he knows how long it is from the center to this point right there next thing he needs is his degree so 125 is not what we want but that's going to help us get what we want 360 minus 125 uh, 235 looks like so that's the angle of our sector so here we go we're going to write our proportion out we've got area of the farmland divided by pi r squared Number R is 1142.857 is equal to 235 over 360. Those are degrees. And you just multiply them out. So we're going to take this bottom. Again, we're going to take this bottom guy and move it up here. And we're going to always remember to square that thing. So here we go. Let's put it into our calculator. Let's clear the old stuff out of there 235 times 1142.857 squared times pi divide that by 360 it's a big number it's about 2.7 million or so Two six seven eight five four five. Two six seven eight five four five. Point four four eight. That's how many square feet his farmland is. Square feet. It's a lot. It's an awful big farmland. And let's see, number four, we have a pizza, an 18-inch pizza that's cut into eight equal slices. What's the area of each slice? And we say 18 inches. That is actually, when you order a pizza that's 18 inches, that's talking about the diameter. So the radius would be half of that. So the radius of this piece of pizza is nine, is nine inches. And it's cut into eight equal slices. Well, if a circular pizza is cut into eight equal slices and we want to figure out the angle, we just divide. And when we divide, we get that this angle is 45 degrees. So here we go. Area formula for a sector is the, the sector area divided by pi times r squared 
is equal to 45 over 360. So take the pi times 9 squared and move it up to the right. Multiply it by 45. So here we go. 45 times 81 pi divided by 360. And that will be 31.809. 31.809. Square inches. That's how much space this piece of pizza takes up. All right, number five. We're going to go a little bit backwards here. This is sector area backwards. Let's see how this works out. So I'm looking for, in this case, the radius. And I'm given the sector area is 75 pi. So that goes up top, pi r squared in the bottom. The angle is 240 over 360. Now before we go any further, anytime you can see a pi cancel on top and bottom, you should do it. So that leaves us 75 over r squared is equal to 240 over 360. I'm going to cross multiply and solve. So I've got r squared times 240 equals 75 times 360. And again, you can you could have simplified 240 and 360, but I'm not going to. Twenty-seven thousand is that product? It was the product of these two things? Now I just divide that by 240. One twelve point five. So r squared is equal to one twelve point five. The question is asking for the radius, so we just want to take the square root of that the square root of 112.5 so the square root of r squared is just r we're just going to keep the principal root on this and let's see I'm guessing it's going to be around 10.7 let's see square root of that answer 10.607 10.607 that's a regular distance and we're in inches and you're done Last one. Find the diameter of a circle if the area is 28 centimeters squared. All right, so we don't know the radius. Once we find the radius, we want to find the diameter, which is two times the radius. So we set up a proportion. The area is already given. The radius we don't know. 30 degrees is the angle. 30, uh, 360 is your denominator. So this time maybe I'll take this down and I'll get those zeros off. Anytime you see a zero and a zero, you can just cancel them out. And I'm also going to take the three and simplify it like so. And then I'll even do this. I'll even say, all right, I know 12 goes into, let's see, 12 is even. And there's also a four in it. 12 divided by four is three. 28 divided by four is seven. So you can cross simplify like that as well. So now all we're going to do is actually no, I don't think you can do that. Scratch that, sorry. But we can do this. We can do that right there. And we'll hold off on the other one for a second. Alright, so let's cross multiply. Pi r squared times 1 is just pi r squared equals 28 times 12. 28 times 12 should be 280 plus 56. Uh, 2. Uh, 336, let's see, 28 times, oops, times 12, 336 was right, divide by pi, so 336 divided by pi, and then square root that. something wrong here. Square root of the 106.95212. 10.342 centimeters, but the diameter is going to be twice that. So just double all those, 20.684. Next up, we're going to go through a, another video on arc length.